All right, guys. Friday evening, about 8 p.m. This is a this has been a catastrophe from the get-go. The uh, engine didn't want to start. I don't know what the hell was wrong with it, so I just decided to go ahead and pull the heads off here. I was going to pull the car around and uh, get it up there by the garage so I could pull the engine out, uh, but I don't think this engine is going to be any good. Uh, the cylinder walls have no ridge. Very very nice. Uh, but somebody had water in it and I mean it's just chunks coming out big chunks the uh, thermostat uh, was rusted away that's the heater hose outlet it's completely plugged uh, the cylinder heads when I pulled the head gasket off the uh, is just chunky chunky stuff coming out so I just there's no cleaning this stuff out uh, I've, I've been into this before a couple times actually um, I took an engine completely apart because it would have been and ran with water and I took it down to the car wash and I stuck the nozzle in there I probably used five dollars worth of quarters stuck the nozzle down in every orifice of that run it through um, it didn't didn't do any good thing uh, I ended up uh, pulling the engine back out took it to a machine shop had it vatted Supposedly it was vatted. Put it back in, and what it does is it clogs up your coolant passages in your radiator. It's only going to take one big chunk to come loose, you know, and then your brand new radiator's fried. So anyway, uh, this engine's not going to work. It's going to have to be, you know, acid dipped to, to get all the crap out of it. It's a damn shame too. The inside of the lifter valley was real clean, but anyway, it's been a mess. Uh, I've been out here for I'd say four hours just getting the heads off. Um, you know, it's a nightmare. It had all the smog tubes, pollution stuff on it still. Uh, trying to, you know, the heater box in it. It was, a, it was just a mother. So here's what I'm trying with this cylinder head. Uh, I had some uretic acid here. Uh, so I poured it down in the passages. And I mean, it was just foaming and steaming and doing all kinds of cool shit. Um, it actually kind of looks like it might be working a little bit. But, uh... Anyway, this is uh, right here. That is the shit that's coming out of the coolant passages. So if you're not running antifreeze in your engine, <laughs> this is a possibility of what can happen. Now, of course, the car's been sitting since 04 or 05 or something, so that, that's not helping anything, you know. Uh, surprisingly, the aluminum intake, you know, they're usually they crater out you know around the thermostat housing and stuff and all that was still nice not no don't, don't understand that at all but look at that completely plugged look at that shit anyway um, i guess it's just a total freaking loss at this point I do know a guy that has a 305. It was running in his old pickup. It was like a, I think a late 70s or 80, early 80s Chevy pickup, half ton 305. Um, from what I understood is they took it out of the truck and they took it all apart. Uh, the rotating assembly and the pan's still on it, but the heads are off of it. And I don't think he has the heads anymore, but Anyway, I could use these heads if I can get them to clean up, but there's no way I'm going to try that block because, like I said, I've, I've tried this before. You cannot get that stuff all out of there, and it's only going to take one good thing of this shit to go through there, and it'll clog your thermostat. It'll clog up your coolant passages in your radiator, and it's just I'm not going to waste the money on gaskets and time and all the work and then have that happen. Anyway, let's see what this muriatic acid does on this head. Looks like it might work, and then I might run it to the car wash and just power wash the shit out of it. I actually need to do my bricks here. I got moss growing over here. So I'm going to go down to the hardware store tomorrow and get some more muriatic acid. Might put some of it in the spray bottle and go around my house. Look at me working on my house. I usually let the house go to shit. Just uh, mess with cars all the time. Anyway, uh, nothing else to report, really. Uh, I did order a molded carpet set, brand new, black. Uh, ACC brand uh, eBay purchase and I'm not sure when it's coming in but anyway I gotta have carpet because it's uh, 
you know, there's no way I can drive this car this summer with, with no carpet. It would just be too hot in the floors and it'd just be an oven in the car. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it.